Okay then, so now we have our router set up, let's try adding another route. So to do this, we need another page component, and this is gonna be for a web form to add a new blog. So I'm gonna call this component create. So we'll create that inside the source folder, create.js, and then inside here, we want a stateless functional component, press tab, and we're gonna call this create. Now, the template is gonna be very, very simple to begin with. All I'm going to do is a div with a class of create, and then inside that, I'm gonna do a title. So we'll just do an H2, which says add a new blog. All right, so that is the create component. Now I want to show this content if a user goes to forward slash create. So let's copy this and paste it down here to add another route. That's all we do. Add multiple different route components inside the switch. This time the path is gonna be create and it's not gonna render the home component now, it's gonna render the create component. Now I'm gonna click on this and that should auto import it at the top. So let's close this off. All right, so let's see if this works and the results are probably not gonna be what you expected. So let me save this and try it out in the browser. So forward slash create, press enter, and we get the home page. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. So why is it showing us the home page when we've gone to forward slash create, which is this path that we registered right here? Well, that's to do with the way React looks at route paths and matches them against our routes that we create right here. In this case, it sees the route that we go to as forward slash create, what we type in here, and then it looks through our routes and it tries to match that against one of these things right here. Now, it matches against the first one it finds to be a correct match, and it stops there. So it goes from top to bottom, and it looks at this first of all, and it says, well, yes, this is a match. Hmm, that's strange because it's not a match, but in the eyes of the React router, it is kind of a match, and that's because this thing right here, this route is inside this, that forward slash exists inside that route and that logic might seem strange but that's the way it works it sees this and it sees it as a match for create because it's inside the route okay so another example would be if i had a route which was i don't know forward slash c right imagine this one doesn't exist then this thing would match forward slash create as well because this is in the route that we're visiting is just this bit right here. So it considers it a match. Now let's get rid of that and let's uncomment this again. So it's there. How do we get around this? Because obviously I don't want to show the home components if they go to forward slash create, that makes no sense. Well, all we have to do is say, well, look, I don't want you to match this if it's included in the route. I only want you to match this if this is exactly the route. And all we do is add on the exact prop like so. And that's it. So now it's saying only match this if it's exactly the URL we go to, not just inside the URL. So let's save that now and preview. And if we refresh or hit enter on create again, we should hopefully, no we don't, have we saved? Okay, that's because I've misspelled exact. Save that again. And now if we refresh, we see add a new blog. And if we go to just forward slash, we see all blogs. Cool, so now I have two routes and we'll add more routes and pages the same way in the future. But there's one more thing I wanna talk about now and that is the switch component. So the switch component is this thing that surrounds all of the routes and it's there to make sure that only one route component shows in the browser at any one time. So when a request is made to a route, React will look at that request and then go from top to bottom inside the switch, so top to bottom down here, and try to match against a route. And it's gonna stop at the first match it finds for that route and render that component inside the route. Now, if the switch component didn't surround all of these routes, it would carry on and render other matches as well, meaning you could end up with more than one page showing at one time. So it's always a good idea to surround all our routes with the switch component. Now, there is still a problem with this setup. When we click on links to go to different pages, it's still sending a request to the server for each click. So 
when I, for example, click on this new blog, which by the way, goes to forward slash create, we added that in when we created the nav bar. If I click on this, it's still making a request to the server. Now we said that React Router should intercept those requests and handle it in the browser instead. Well, it does. But instead of using anchor tags, we have to use a special React router link instead. And we'll see how to use that next.